I've got spirits. Yes, I do. I've got bant spirits. How about you? That's right. With the release of Shadows Over Innistrad, we can play Bant Spirits, Pioneer's premier spirits deck, Bant Spirits. I also like the Mono Blue Spirits. I have some videos of those. You can check those out later. Right now we're talking about Bant Spirits, which means white, blue, and green. Spirits green really just for collected company. Um, sorry, any green spirits that are hanging out there from Kamigawa. You didn't make the cut. We're just... It's a... It's an Azoria Spirits with the Collected Company. Coco, of course, look at top six. Put two with mana value three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's our curve topper. We're hoping to hit some new stuff like a Spell Queller, two, three, Flash Flying. When it enters the battlefield, exile target spell with mana value four or less. And when it leaves the battlefield, the exiled card's owners can cast that, but we don't want that. And... Um, Skyclave Appetizer. Here's another new one. Uh, not really in Pioneer List, but I just threw it in as a one of because I could only craft three spell quellers. It should be four spell quellers. But we have an honorary spell queller as the Bygone Bishop. Two, three flying whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value three or less. Investigate, which means make a clue, which is two and crack and draw a card. We got the uh, Spirit Lord with Supreme Phantom. Shacklegeist, the Spirit Tapper Downer, Rattle Chains, the Spirit Hex Proof of Fire, and make everything instant speed. Also new in Shadows over Innistrad, the Selfless Spirit, 2-1, Sacrifice It, 2-1 uh, Flying. Sacrifice It, creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn, so it's the little uh, Wrath Beater. This list I um, am modeling after only had two of these guys, but um, looks like it, you know, maybe you could go up to three or four of those guys. Mausoleum Wanderer, also relatively recent. It came in in one of the, um, uh, what, what do you call them? The, the anthologies. But So I've already had those, and I've been playing those in mono blue just fine. Spectral Sailor, um, little flash guy that can also draw us cards. Lofty Denial, of course, this spirit deck has all flyers. We're not doing any of that snow-covered land shenanigans. And um, Skyclave Appetizer. Oh, well, I guess that's not a flyer. <laughs> and then uh, the list had one Empyrean Eagle. It is a spirit, and it is going to buff uh, other creatures with flying. So it is our fifth lord in the deck. Mana base, uh, a lot of rares. Sideboard, rest in peace, disdainful stroke, extraction specialist, Catilda, Takasia's Welcome, Portable Hole, Shaper Sanctuary. Of course, I put the deck list in the description as always. Uh, and if I don't, leave a comment and remind me to do that. And with that, let's go to the matches and see how Bant Spirits can do in Explorer. Okay, Bant, 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 Bant. Turn one, Mausoleum Wanderer. Keep it. It'll be a little hard for me to play without all my counter spells. Um, do we take one damage now or two damage now? Take two. We'll just get as many of these guys down as we can. We do need the mana to cast the spell Queller. They're gonna edict. Oh yeah. I'll sacrifice this guy to counter your edict. What do you think of that? The Chrome Coast. Um, so we could opt for a flash in, or we could just get another wanderer down. I guess we'll opt for the flash in. It could very well just hold back another Shieldred's edict, and uh, looking like what they might be doing. Oh, they're going to curate. That possibly means they don't have anything. They also could possibly have Fatal Push. Nope. Is this a Surveil deck? You can watch my video. I tried out the Surveil deck when they announced all the stuff that was going to be... Um, so we can flash in stuff. Hmm. I want to hold up Spell Queller, so 
Possibly the best thing to do is just get out Supreme Phantom and Mausoleum Wonder and hopefully use Mausoleum Wonder to counter any annoying spell. Founding the Third Path, A. Eh? Let's spell quell that. Chrome a coast that's going to enter tap, so we won't bother with that. Let's buff our team and all attack. Hit you for six. It looks like they want to take out the spell queller. Agonizing remorse. Mm. Do they have instant speed removal, is the question. Uh, they take the Mausoleum Wonder. We're not able to cast that. They take the Fatal Push of the Buffer. Uh, neither of these are that exciting, but they've seen that already, so... Hit them for six, they're down to five. To consider Terry Mander Terry to the man man mander we can um, flash that in that they <laughs> they're done they've seen enough of the spirit I've got bands in my pants and it makes me do a happy dance up against Casper the friendly ghost we got some friendly ghosts here or maybe they're not so friendly. So to find out, Casper, we've got a full complement of uh, legendary lands from Kimigawa. Casperilla, looks like they took a mulligan. Should we rattle chains here? It's looking like a rattle chains. Um, kind of. Like a rattle chain's kind of matchup here. Red, black, hot sneeze, huh? Well, it's possible they just take the collected company. They might take the supreme phantom. I guess we should have rattle chains. Oh, no, they took. Ooh, we can Mausoleum Wonder and Supreme Phantom. Supreme Pantomime. What do they got? All right, if you got a spell, Mausoleum Wonder is a problem for you. Bone Crusher Giant. Counter that because then they don't get Bone Crusher to cast. Now they're going to Fatal Push. So it goes. We are most definitely missing um, the Collected Company here. Collected Company could have been game over. Croxa, gonna take out Ganjo. Oh, ho, ho. how about a Coco? The opponent has seen enough. We're playing Spiridinis and Bantonioni, and also its countryman Roman Bolansky. Bolansky. Screwed that up. <laughs> uh, sure. Three drops and three drops. One's going first. And they playing from behind. So that's a two or fewer. That's a two or fewer. Should we get those going or should we just get a tap land down here? Third path. I can't. Oh, class. Third path. I can't. No class. 
Um, we could start with the Shacklegeist, or we could hold up the Rattle Chains. We'll see. I think next turn we want to Skyclave that Iconoclast, or the Young Peasy. I have a deck, uh, I have a deck tech much like this, by the way, you can check it out. One red elemental or the colorless artifact creature, I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe it was correct to take the Pyromancer. I have a feeling this Skyclave Apparition is going to get shacked. Fiery Impulse has come over. Need to hit some land drops so we can Coco Magoko. Having played a deck like this, if you can just shut down the 1 1 producers. Be giving them yet another token. Very much hurts that we got a slow hand and we went second. Might not be our game here. Oops, makes another makes another weenie. Makes another young pyromancer. Uh, guess we'll take out the one one. Or should we? Is it correct to take out the two two? But then they get another two two. So dream phantoms. We can't cast more than one creature here. We could hold up rattle chains. In fact, I think. That's possibly what we're supposed to do. In case they want to remove the Skyclave Apparition here before they go to combat. Lord knows they seem to have no shortage of small instants. Sorceries. Here it comes. Young Pai Gao. There's the fiery impulse. Rattle chains. Would they like to play another fiery impulse? They're going to make it disappear, that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just get paid right back in uh, tokens. And we're at three. The Seachrome Coast coming into play tapped. Not going to save us. <clears throat> Good game, opponent. Well, let's go on to the next one. Okay. Kumori. Kumori, Kumori. It's great to stay up late. Don't really have a choice. Got to pay the two life here. Get the Mausoleum Wanderer started. And we'll razor verge that thicket. Lay down arms. Uh, we would gain the three life. We will not counter that. Thank you very much. And then next turn, hold up spell queller potentially. Uh, 
back in the turn. So blue white deck playing lay down arms. Huh. Is it correct to flash in spell queller even if I don't have a spell to hit? Possibly. Let's see. Counter spell? Ben sore. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe it wasn't correct. Let's play some chakra guys. Let's... Could have a board wipe come in here. Memory Deluge. Uh, they could be looking for a board wipe. Okay. Land, we're just hitting all lands here. Just one of the Miorion decks. March of Otherworldly Light. They're going to hold up four mana. So they have Wandering Emperor, I guess? Very strange. Nope, they didn't cast anything with the mana they held up. I don't understand it. They are at eight life. Not even putting out one ones. Memory deluge again. Let's take the chance of getting the spectral staler down. Verdict, let's draw a card. Mausoleum Wonder, okay. Um, yeah, we'll play Mausoleum Wonder. That's the turn. How many Supreme Verdicts have they stacked up, I guess, is the question. Um... We collected company on our turn. If they got the counter, they got the counter. They did have the counter. I clave nothing. Just get a trigger on Mausoleum Wander. Cycle the sensor. Now they know I'm playing around it. Supreme Phantom. Well, this will draw out a counter if they've got one. Don't you just love playing against control? Isn't it just the most wonderful thing? I am the Emperor of Polygon, and I they make a samurai. Keep watch for intruders. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> Target a spirit. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, one on token permit. Okay, fine. I that. 
where the board wipe gets us. I think I overcommitted there. Memory deluge. Dream verdict once again. So it can't be countered. Yes, I want to counter it anyway. All right, now they got a 4-4. Four, four. And we're just drawing lands. I think this deck list is missing a land that can attack here. Maybe a couple of them. Hero of Dominaria, yeah. <clears throat> this is how it goes, playing control. Is there a world where we somehow squeak through? Well, not just by drawing lands. Frustrating. Espiritus Banti. Elfless spirit. Where were you when I did to give all my stuff indestructible in that last game? Oh, selfless spirit. Spectral Sailor. Uh oh. Is this a mirror match? Well, we know Bant Spirits is gonna win on win one of these. <clears throat> They've got Supreme Phantom. Okay. What do we need to do here? Chaco Geist? Next turn, Skyclave the Supreme Phantom. Huh. I think it's correct to make the trade. Just to get back into to back into the game here. They could very well have um, the guy that gives hex proof, right? If they're running a similar list, which they seem to be. So let's just pass the turn. I didn't play the hex proof guy. Take one. And a Coco. Yeah, there's the Coco. Dang. Oh, they called my bluff. I shouldn't have called their bluff. They weren't bluffing. We do get to Skyclave, whatever the best thing they Coco here is. Taking a long time to decide. I wonder if they hit a lot of things. We got a Mausoleum Wanderer and a Supreme Phantom. Sure. Okay. Well. We'll play that tapped. We can take out one of the Phantoms. We don't have a um, Coco of our own, otherwise we'd take out the Mausoleum Wanderer, probably. <clears throat> now there's a good chance this Wanderer attacks as a 3-3. Three, three. Oh my goodness. If they didn't hit me Lords. Tap down the 2-3, sure. I'll get in for 5. Or 12. Okay. Um, we can do a Lord, we can do a Selfless Spirit and hold up 
the spell Queller, I guess, is a thing we can do. We can tap down the 2-3. Great if we could hit Collected Company. If they drew three Collected Companies, I mean, how do you win that game? Rattle Chains. That is spell quelled. Home coast, not super helpful. I guess we'll get in for two here. I think I'm going to save the spectral sailor. Come down as a 2 2 as a surprise. Okay, well, they don't have anything to cast. Let's go draw a card. The Lofty Denial. That's good. Um. combat. I think they'll probably tap down. They don't tap down something. Get in with this Queller. The mana closer to, uh, or get the dam- uh... Yeah, okay, they tap 3-4. Empyrean Eagle, we can deny that. like they can attack. Draw a card. We get a Supreme Phantom. Okay. They're holding up Lofty Denial. Uh, I mean, we gotta go for it, right? Attack, attack. We do this. We don't really win. <clears throat> we don't want to give him that back, right? So I guess we're just attacking with our four five. They don't have the greatest of blocks. Okay, they're at seven. Have we turned this around against a double Coco? A double resolved Coco? What do they hit? One of our lords or the spell queller to get their rattle chains back. Yep, I go for the rattle chains. Cast the rattle chains. Give that hexproof until end of turn. Sure. Now we have a rattle chains. Let's activate this. We just need to get through for enough. Should have held on to their rat chains, by the way. Okay, <laughs> they gave up. I wasn't sure that that was over, but I'll take the win. Stick around for the win rate stats. Okay, so here you have it. Five games, uh, three wins, 60% win rate. 50% on the play, 67% on the draw. Very unusual to win more on the draw than you do on the play. But, of course, this is a small sample size. In any case, thanks for joining me. Thanks to everyone who's a subscriber. You know that packs are coming soon, you subscribers. So good on you. And as a reminder, this is Magic Dad signing off saying... Magic Dad? Mana Dad. <laughs> what, what did I name this channel? Mana Dad signing off saying magic is a game so fun. Even dads can enjoy it. Adios. Mm -hmm.